Patrick Rickwalder, the man who is suing Todd and Julie Chrisley, is pummeling the couple's endeavors to have the case fixed. Todd and Julie inquired the Tennessee courts to seal the continuous legitimate fight over their son's 2022 car mishap, citing that it would cause serious embarrassment for the family. Rickwalder is denouncing Todd and Julie of attempting to benefit from a terrible situation. Proceed perusing to memorize the points of interest of the claim and how it is unfurling. Patrick Rickwalder sues Crisley family over Grayson's mischance. Radar Online reported that the disrespected reality Tiff stars asked that the court square the open from seeing any of the filings made by Patrick Rickwalder. Rickwalder at first sued Grayson, Savannah, Todd, and Julie Chrisley over a car crash that happened on Interstate 65 in Tennessee. The occurrence happened on November 12, 2022. The claim says that Patrick Rickwalder was driving a 2020 Avoid Smash when Chrisley's child slammed into the back of his truck. At the time, Grayson was driving a Portage 5150 pickup truck, which was clearly claimed by Julie and Todd. In his suit, Rickwalder accused Grayson Chrisley of being occupied, whereas driving. He said that he was not paying consideration to the roadway within the minutes promptly going before the ray's impact. On beat of that, the claim states that Todd and Julie Chrisley's son failed to act suitably beneath the circumstances, which included at a least keeping up a secure working remove from other engine vehicles, keeping up a safe working speed, and maintaining a strategic distance from being occupied by electronic devices inside his engine vehicle. Concurring to reports, Grayson was surged to the clinic taking after the mishap. Todd and Julie Chrisley endeavored to reject the case. Since the beginning claim was filed, Todd and Julie requested that the court reject all of the claims being made. Rick Walder and the Chrisley family battled over subpoenas for their phone records. He was requesting call and content logs for the day, sometime recently, the crash up to 18 days taking after the mischance. Todd and Julie Chrysley contended that Patrick Rickwalder was making a clear exertion to annoy them. In any case, they inevitably came to an ascension over the phone records. Rickwalder was allowed to look for records from November 12 to November 15. He was moreover allowed to get Grayson's phone records straightforwardly. Todd and Julie's records would be sifted through their lawyer. Chrysley family pushes to get the case fixed. Presently, the Chrisley family is inquiring that the complete case be fixed. Their legal counselor said, Defendants are national to identities who are asking that this court seal the court record in this matter to secure their privacy, particularly in light of Julie and Todd's appeals of their later criminal convictions. It was too contended that the matter was a private concern and the open would have no genuine intrigue within the case. Their lawyer proceeded, saying that disclosure would result in genuine humiliation or other particular harm. Of course, Patrick Rickwalder didn't concur with Todd and Julie Chrisley's ask. He expressed that the family didn't come up with a great sufficient reason to legitimize fixing the case. The incongruity of these contentions is that the litigants have misused the realities of this case to stay important by making articulations to media outlets. They've posted approximately the truths of the case on different social media stages and freely discuss the actualities of the case on podcasts, Reichwalder's attorney expressed. He kept on pound down on the reality that each of the Chrysleys talked approximately the incident on their different podcasts. It is anticipated that this issue will continue to play out in court over the following few months.